Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, it's nice to have Father Josh back. <laughs> Although he said to me, uh, well, I, you preach because it's my day off. <laughs> you know, for the last two or three days, we've been listening in the scripture to what Jesus has been doing. And what Jesus has been doing in the scripture is what he came to do, cure the sick, raise the dead, drive out demons, and proclaim the kingdom of God. And now, he says to the 12, I want you guys to go out and do what I've been doing. I want you 12 to go and do what I've been doing. You go in my authority. I'm sharing my power with you. And so go. And so the day before he was ordained and Ryan was ordained, I said to both of them, I want you guys to remember something. If you don't remember anything else, I want you to remember something that during the litany of the saints, when you are prostrate before the altar and the bishop is kneeling, just before he lays his hands on your head, I want you to think that your nature is going to change. Something is going to happen. The Spirit is going to descend upon you and everything is going to change. The Spirit rushes upon you, and in that moment when your nature changes, you go with the authority you are being sent, with the authority and the power of Jesus Christ. Now, one of the keys to that is this. When Jesus sent the twelve, he sent them in his name with his authority and with his power, but their attitude about all of that had a lot to do with it. Their attitude about what they believed, about what they were receiving, and what they were being sent to do was going to have an effect on the people that they were going to meet and greet. The way that I celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass affects you. The way that I preach affects you. If I just stood up 
and I came, and I didn't care, you'd know it. If I celebrated Mass like nothing was happening, you'd know it. But when you encounter somebody who really believes that what he's doing is real and effective, that affects you too. That affects you too. You know, I've been here 14 years, and one of the things that you know about me is I'm a stickler for cleanliness. <laughs> I want God's house to look beautiful. I want God's house to look nice. When you drive on this campus, I want you to know that it's God's house and we need to take care of what belongs to God. But the physical condition of the parish usually is an indication, some, lots of times, of the spiritual condition of it too. I learned that well when I was recovering from alcoholism. I got sick spiritually first, and then got sick physically. And in the process of recovery, you see, you have to get well physically, all right, in order that you can focus on getting well spiritually. And that's exactly what Jesus is sending the apostles and myself and Father Josh to do, is to, is to minister to the spiritual condition of souls. But the effect that I and he are going to have upon you is that if we present ourselves in a manner that we really believe that what we're doing is real, is real, In a certain sense, my brothers and sisters, all of the baptized, every one of us, we are being sent, charged to proclaim the good news of the kingdom. That when the world encounters me and you, they must see the face of Jesus. As the scripture said, and if we believe that what we have received is in fact what Jesus claims for it to be, then when we meet others, they will encounter that. And when they encounter that, they encounter Christ. And when they encounter Christ, they say to themselves, I want that.